Welcome to the second tutorial on Pro Color Monitor. I'm going to show you how to analyze the image which is captured uh, in the monitor. This image shot over here has already been corrected. As you can see, there's a color cast. There's no color cast. And this is what it looked like when I shot it up in Lubeck in Germany. I'm going to capture the image. And we can see over here in the monitor that the parts out here and there are now white, which it should be, and this is white, which it should be. Um, the beams up here are red, which means that they are very close to being black, as you can see in a minute. Um, this part down here is yellow. Uh, the little rope, which is lying here, is yellow indicating that in reality it's blue which is okay because it's lying in the shadows shadows in most most situations are a little bit bluish so let me go ahead and shut off the color monitor for a second or better yet the color board over here in final cut pro and you can see now that the whole image turned blue over uh, blue in the monitor and yellow uh, showing that we have a color cast uh, when i switch the color board back on, uh, you can clearly see that uh, a lot of stuff turns white over in the monitor. Also, you can see that we have a lot more diff different colors here. We have a lot more three-dimensionality going on. Uh, and this is what happens when you get the color cast away. Uh, you get 3D colors and you get more perception of the room, uh, the depth uh, of the room, which and you can see that if you watch the image here when I turn this on you don't have this three dimensionality uh, which you have when I sweep it back, switch it back on so this is one of the benefits of doing a, a good color balance that is that you get a sharper image and you get more three dimensionality let me turn this off and reset it and try to show you what happens so I'm going to try to identify uh, what should have been white in the image. And uh, clearly to me, uh, these parts here uh, are in the shadows, so they should be a little bit bluish. But these parts over here should not be this yellow, and the table here should not be this yellow. So what the monitor does is it shows you in which direction to pull your slider. Uh, we have blue all over the place here, so that means we should pull toward blue. So I'm going to take this color puck over here in Final Cut Pro and just begin moving this in the direction of blue. Now this turns cyan, showing me I should push toward cyan. Now it turns magenta, so I should go toward magenta, which I'm doing over here. And now it starts to turn white. And the whole idea is to paint the parts which are blue, paint those white inside of the monitor. And this is what I'm doing right now. And we can see how far I can take it. The further I take it, the more magenta it goes. That means green. So I'm going to go toward magenta, like it shows me. And I'm getting there. I'm getting close. But I'm not close enough. So I'm going to take the midtones and try to move those, which uh, over here is being indicated I should move those towards cyan so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm turning magenta so I'm gonna move a little bit toward magenta until it, I can see it's turning white so now I'm pretty white and it's looking looking okay to me uh, I could go even further and try to take the shadows toward magenta a bit but then yeah, it's, uh, this is good because we can now see up here, and this is a good example, that the green up here actually is showing me that this beam over here is almost magenta, which it was, which I mean, dark wood is, is looking like that. I could pull this a little bit toward green to try and get it a little bit into the realm of being yellow. But I don't like that, so I'm going to push it back here and try to get those parts over here white. This white, all, or basically all the stuff that should have been white, uh, turn it white. 
into in the monitor. I'm gonna check the black clipping, which I can see down here in the fireplace, which is okay because it's black. And white clipping uh, is something that I have going on at the stairs a little bit uh, and, and at, the, at the lamp. This lamp in the window, also okay. I'm gonna hit the bypass switch on here and see how far we came. And I kind of like what happened. It looks a lot more like the image I shot when I was up in Lübeck. So this is basically um, what you do uh, to, to get the color cast away. I'm going to go to a different image here. We're in a church. My little uh, God's daughter has been born. And um, I'm going to switch off the monitor here. and and see what's going on. <clears throat> so we can see clearly over here, this should have been white, this should have been white, this should have been white, especially the baby should have been white. And now I'm gonna show you how to turn the baby white. I'm doing another capture. I'm initiating the capture and I'm going over here and I'm just gonna capture the baby. And I'm gonna try to take the baby, which should be in the mid-tone somewhere. Oh, I can try the highlights too. Uh, pull that toward cyan and lo and behold it turns white however the image to me still looks a little bit too i can't explain it it's not clear enough for me so i'm going to initiate a new capture and look at the whole image and i can still see that a lot of the midtones uh, are way too yellowish so i'm going to take the midtones and try to pull toward blue. Now I need to pull toward cyan, toward magenta, toward cyan, toward magenta. Now we're getting somewhere. I can try to bypass the color board and see what we had before and now. And this here is a lot more uh, like it used to be when I was there. I can show you one thing by doing another capture. This is me and the shirt I'm wearing. It was pink, the shirt I was wearing. And you can see it down here now that this is pink because this is green, showing me the different colors. I'm going to switch into non-false color mode. You can see it there. If I bypass the color board now, you can see now, now it bypassed. I don't know what that happened, um, but it's yellowish. It's not clear. And the separation between the black and the pink in here is not what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to flip it back on and you can see maybe it turned a little bit too bluish, but it definitely got more pink. So I can start working on that now. I'm going to switch back into false color mode and I can see that the shadows should be warmer. Should warm those up either until they hit red or black. I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to capture the whole image again. And I'm going to look at it. And I can see that she is now, her dress, whatever she's wearing, is actually uh, now black. I could try to move the black a little bit to more red to get it a little bit more black. See if I can do that. Yes. <clears throat> so basically what you're trying to do is, is turn black things in the image, black over here on the monitor, and white things in the image, you turn those white. And everything in between will just practically fall in place. Still, uh, I'm not quite happy with what I did, so I'm just going to reset it. And I'm going to try to figure out what the best part is to, to get white. I definitely know that her dress here has white stuff in it so I'm going to try to color that white this time I'm just going to go up and see what happens toward blue toward green, magenta now we start to turn white and I don't know if you can see it so I'm just going to capture it a little bit more in the zoom before we had the white stripes in a in her dress were blue. 
Now they are slowly turning white. I should go a little bit toward magenta, but now the green starts flipping in. This is like a give and take game. So, <clears throat> but I'm gonna try to move the those here, the mid tones. Tell me now to move toward yellow. So I'm gonna move toward yellow. Now toward magenta. See if this gets anything where I wanted to. No, it didn't. So I'm just gonna reset that pop. I think this is a pretty good white balance in comparison to what we had before, but it's a difficult image, uh, definitely. Um, but we had this before and we have this now, so this is definitely a lot more clear. I might try the exposure a little bit to give that, get that back in. I still think that the image has a little bit of a magenta look. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get that away by giving a little bit more clearance here. There we go. This looks much more like it was in the church. This wasn't like this. And you can see over here in the monitor that all these things are starting to get white. <clears throat> so difficult image, not a professional image, but then again, if you, if we had used motives from Grand Canyon, you wouldn't take notice of, of, of the, what the color monitor does you would just take notice of the beautiful motive this is why we chose these here and we have an airplane here taken off in Hamburg Germany and uh, I can see that down here in the image these should be white that's definitely sure because then the Sun and the back of the plane should also be white ish uh, it shouldn't have all this this green shimmer over it as you can see here in the sky at the moment is 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 almost gray which it shouldn't be so i'm going to try to take the highlights and move those toward blue and cyan and lo and behold now they start turning white and the image got a lot clearer and the sky got blue i'm gonna bypass the color board here I don't know why it's not bypassing right now now it is before excuse me after and before still not by well sometimes products don't work as they're supposed to but anyway uh, I'm gonna try to take it even further in the midtones I'm gonna move those try to get this here a little bit less green so I'm gonna move this over to the magenta part of the color board and scoot that in a little bit until I start getting that away now I can see I need to move a little bit toward yellow in my highlights and I'm doing that and now the wings down here starting because they were hit by the Sun starting to become a little bit more white um, over here I can push a little bit toward magenta and I'm basically there uh, this was before and now we move we remove the color cast now of course you could add another color board uh, and and now grade the image to your own taste but what we have done now and what you do with the white balance is to basically get everything totally neutral and after that you apply a look so if you have like 50 clips and you want to apply one look to all these clips you need to get them neutral white first and then you apply your grading to it I can show you here what I mean I can try to add another one here I don't really know how that is done so let me see if I can add another one can I copy it? No. Well, that's not what I would expect. Uh, add correction color board, excuse me. <clears throat> so now, for instance, if I want it to be more yellow, I could do that. I could drag this over to yellow or to red or whatever I would want to do with it. And I could still use the monitor to see what's going on. <clears throat> I could try to make the, this is a good example. You can see, these are the wood the over here in the woods it's green it should be green at least but it's a lot more yellow than it's green 
So I'm going to move toward yellow here, away from yellow, toward yellow, sorry, to get this more green. I don't know if you can see that the wood's starting to turn more green, but also it, it's greening the, up the whole image. So I'm going to try with another color puck to see what I can do there to get it a little bit more green. But anyway, that's the idea of the, the monitor, that you can use the fall co false colors to see what's going on in the image. After you get something, I'm going to switch, switch this off again and select color board one. And you can see here, if he would only bypass when I click the bypass button. There. This is neutral white, maybe too white. Maybe you need to put in a little bit more heat on it or whatever you want to do in the grading process. But first of all, you get it gray and then you grade it. I'm going to move over to my uncle here. Uh, and I'm going to switch bypass the color board. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to can see here that the wall here is not white. Uh, there's a color cast, a reddish brownish color cast. Uh, on this and um, I don't want that so I'm gonna try to take that away by moving the puck toward well as a matter of fact I'm gonna use the color wheels this time uh, so you can see those two I'm gonna move those toward the color indicated over here I'm not looking at the image itself I'm only looking at the color monitor now I'm gonna switch to the midtones And see what happens. Um, bypass it. I can see I'm taking away the color cast. See what's going on in the shadows. Do we have any? Yes, we do. They are cyan. So I'm going to move a little bit towards cyan. See what happens toward green. See if I can. There we go. That, I had the wrong one. I'm trying to go in for this one here trying to make this a little bit more black there you go so now I'm gonna bypass it this is what we had before and this is what we have after and this is a lot more uh, in the direction that I would want to be going uh, with the image uh, it's not a professional image again it's just an H.264 shot on a Canon 5D Mark II uh, of course if you have better quality images you will get better quality results so let me just do one more uh, and see what we can do with this one here. I'm going to reset the color board over here. And again, I can see that uh, this wall is very yellowish, but also it's being hit by a yellow lamp standing over here. So the part I'm going for is here. I'm going to try, try to make that white. So I'm going to move toward the blue, toward the middle. There you go. Put in a little bit in the mid-tones. And I'm just, when I'm moving the puck over here, I'm just looking over here. And then my hand is automatically going in the direction that he tells me to go. Let me do that again. I'm taking the highlights here. And I'm watching with my eyes over here. So now I'm moving this one up. And now it says towards cyan. So move towards cyan. And now I get this part white, which is the highlights. This part over here. It's now white. Now I'm going to take the midtones and try to get those a little bit. Should move toward blue. Blue. Now toward cyan. I'm going to go real crazy with it. So now I'm going to go to the shadows, which should be more yellow. So I'm moving those toward yellows. Lo and behold, look what happens. We can see the text. Now I'm going to bypass it. I want you to watch over here what happens when I bypass it. The text will disappear almost. Uh, and you can see that it's very, there's not a lot of color going on. It's like one big color saturating the whole image and this is yellow. Now I'm switching it back on for somehow, it, now it did. Now I'm getting a lot more colors out here. I'm getting blue uh, or yellow and, and the colors here are 
actually showing me uh, that there's a lot more going on. I'm going to try to take a little bit of the magenta away. So now I'm getting even more different colors in here. I'm bypassing now. And this is the yellow we had before, and this is what we got now. So uh, this one is perhaps taken a bit too far. Uh, so, but uh, it's a difficult image uh, because it's H264 and not really something that you would be going for. We are in Lightroom now. I'm going to initiate a new capture to get the whole image. This is my beautiful little daughter, Romy. And this is Christmas and it's taken without a flash. So what we have here is a very yellowish shirt on her. And the atmosphere is just way too yellow. It, it was not that way when I shot it. So I'm gonna go over here and Hover the mouse on this slider here and move that to what blue and see what happens. And I'm just going to do it until I hit white. I think this is a pretty good job. I'm going to try to see what happens when I move the tint, if I can get a little bit more into the stuff that I was looking for. This is probably more what I was going for. I'm going to turn it even colder. Yes. And then see what happens when I do this. I think this is a pretty good job. I'm going to go into bypass mode. This is what we had before. This is what we have now. So uh, we can see down here the box is now white. It used to be over here in the, in the science, uh, meaning yellow. Now we have a, an image which is a little bit better. I can even hit a little bit on the exposure to to get the before and after comparison going there you go so we can see we came from this and very very yellowish cast and we took it away and now we're here this is much more what it was like and what you can see is that when you do the right color balance the colors will all the other colors will match naturally look at her stockings right here they are not really red you can't really see clearly that they are red now it becomes clear and if I zoom in here, you can see it even better. The separation between this flower here and the red on her pants in comparison to this. This is not three-dimensional, but this is. And this is what you get by doing the right color balance. I'm going to switch to another image of my old mother, which is sitting here. And then I'm going to try to show you how to get that white and we can see over here we have a radiator which is being hit by a white light uh, which we had in the room at that time but the radiator itself is way too yellow so i'm just going to move this and color it white getting over here now i need to move toward the greenish part and I'm done. This is what I had before, and this is what I had after. And I promise you, my living room did not look like this. It looked like that. So at least this is how I remember it. But, you know, that's it. I could move it more toward magenta, as you can see down here in the image frame. It's now green. Uh, whereas it perhaps should be magenta to get it white. So there we go. Yeah, this is better. I'm going to just try to show you one thing that it matters what you decide to make white or what you decide to make white. Let me just show you this with the auto white balance of, of uh, Adobe. If I go over here and make this white, I get a different result than if I try to make this white. So I'm going to have to figure out what do I want to make white? What is the reference in the image? And this takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. It takes a little bit of, of practice to figure out what is always the right stuff. But basically, um, as you can see here, if I hit this pro color monitor shows you now this is white. If I want to turn the stuff white here back in the strap on my mama's hair, 
didn't do a very good job of that but it's I can tell you that this is actually turned white in here and you can see what's going on with the rest of the colors when you do that and this is what is really important I'm gonna try to turn this one white with what's in the shadows and then I get a an, a totally different image uh, as if I would have done it here um, so this is what you get um, I don't know if I've left anything out. I'm going to switch back to Final Cut Pro this time. And uh, I think this is it. Um, thanks for watching.